the girder there. I'm gonna switch around to the back camera now. This is the 1X, it's the default camera lens. In three, two, one, bam. We go into the 2X. And bam. We go into the 5X. And bam. We go out to the wide, that's quite wide. For someone who's looking for versatility, holy moly, that's awesome. Okay, Will, here you go, it's your moment. Now the AI picked up that he's indoor. I don't know what type of enhancement it's going to provide. Oh, hybrid zoom. Oh, you're really having to hold this pose, Will. Mm -hmm. I apologize. I'm sweating. Would you look at this? This is how wide it goes. And he's close for the record. Like, what is he? He's like, what are you, 10 feet away from me? Yeah. I mean, you got to zoom in to really even get to Willie Do on the fully wide. And Kurt, I mean, he's all the way over there. So the wide is picking up a lot. This is the full zoom. You can see it's a bit hazy. Part of that is competing with this lighting over here. I'm super bright. He is not nearly as bright. Here is the 2X zoom, and that's the 1X standard camera. Now, of course, when the lighting is hitting the subject, it's a far better performer here in our environment. We have the wide angle figurine. We have the crazy zoom figurine, which is like, wow, that's very usable. At that zoom we have the 2x zoom look at the contrast kirk you're happy with that this thing whoa that might be the best 2x photo i've ever taken in this environment that's an incredible 2x photo will are you yeah. impressed yeah looks good it's got some of the other functions you you would expect on a device like this at this price point it's got the fingerprint scanner in there in the display it's got the OLED display as well. The processor, the chip, I don't know, you might want the higher end Snapdragon, but the chances are for a lot of people, 700 series that's in here is gonna be okay. I do wanna check, of course, the audio performance. And I like to test it with dialogue because that's typically how I would use a smartphone speaker. Huawei, Let's see here. Universe, China, US trade stuff, Donald oh, okay. Trump, so forth. New developments, but there has been a kind of a, a pause button, a little bit of leniency for pre-existing products. It might be just strictly mono. Uh, as as Let me see Google here. And Huawei are... It's a one speaker situation. That's or okay with me. I mean, yeah, you can cover it, so it's not perfect. But I'd rather have one decent speaker than have a little bit of sound coming out of the earpiece region and the whole thing sounds like a tin can. I'm saying this is a pretty good sounding phone. No, I can hear it from here. The volume's really... Uh... Really loud. And you can see with the display, no distractions, no not. No hole punch, no nothing. Who is this phone for? Who's it gonna compete with? Well, first up, you gotta deal with this color OS. Now, if this is me and I pick up this phone, you know what I'm gonna do, Will? I'm gonna get the Nova launcher. I'm gonna hit it with a healthy dose of the Nova launcher. I think this is for somebody who is going to prioritize the camera setup. Someone who's gonna prioritize, they're gonna say, I want all those focal ranges represented, it's a crazy layout. This is a, a very versatile camera setup. And then also, there's a bit of a show off factor with the way the camera pops up. So let's be honest about that, that it's a cooler smartphone because you got the key lime pie, shoots up out the top. That's what that phone's about. It's around 500 bucks, like you said, and I think it's kind of interesting. I agree, it's a nice package. So here's an exciting one for me. I mean, I haven't looked at a smartphone from Sony in a very long time. I couldn't even remember when Will asked me. And it's kind of unfortunate because they've been in the game for a long time, not just a smartphone game, but the technology game, the gaming games, PlayStation, TV, everybody wanted once upon a time was the Trinitron. I had the mini disc player, the Walkman changed the game for me and others. It's like, I love to see Sony still doing it. And especially when they've got a product like this one, which has been requested a lot by you guys, I'm excited for it because it's a different take. Unlike the other manufacturers that are just going, you know, all in on this idea of screen to body ratio, they're like, let's go with a different aspect ratio. Let's try to put as many pixels as possible into a six and a half inch screen that anyone's ever done before. Let's just have a different approach. So that's why I'm excited for this. 
And, oh, I'm also excited because they're doing a promo. These are my favorite headphones in the world right now. The WH-1000XM3. They're doing a deal where you get these for free when you order this. That's an important thing to know about because this is not a cheap smartphone. This is going to retail for 950 USD. So it puts it in that premium price tier, but if you want to lower the sting of that MSRP, those are $350 noise-canceling headphones, and in my opinion, they're worth it. I've used them for a while, and I love them. So if you were in the market for both of these things, you could imagine your price point on the smartphone having a significant subtraction from a value perspective instead of having to spend $950 and another $350. You can look at the effective price of the phone going all the way down to 600 bucks. I'll link Amazon down in the description if you want to check it out, but it should work at a number of different retailers on the pre-order currently. Okay, some specs on the back. 12 plus 12 plus 12 megapixel triple camera setup. You got to have it this day and age, 2019, especially if you want 900 bucks for a smartphone. 8 megapixel selfie camera, 4K HDR OLED display, 6.5 inches. That's got to be the highest pixel density I've ever looked at in a smartphone, I would say. 3330 milliamp hours, coarse we've seen devices 4,000 plus. So I'm not too excited about that. Snapdragon 855 IP65 slash 68. Okay, this could be uh, the next smartphone that I switch to. This could be my next experiment. Might very well. Which one did I get? Oh, I got the purple one. It's the Toronto Raptors purple one. You see that, Jack? Flip it over to the front. 21 by 9 cinema wide. So this brings us to the next hot topic, maybe the hottest topic with this particular smartphone. You do not see 21 by 9 smartphones. That said, if you look at a service like Netflix, for example, they claim a significant portion of their content is in that aspect ratio. For the time being, it's mostly cinema content in which you'll be able to watch the way it was originally intended. Now, why would you want to go with this aspect ratio? Well, what it allows you to do is have a 6.5 inch display, but in a form factor that you can hold super easy. As you can see, it's not a reach for me. It's just a confident grip. It's a really interesting aspect ratio. Could it be the future? Quite possibly. But for now, it's one of the rare uh, devices available as far as a smartphone is concerned. We've seen it in monitors and things like that in the past. Now, they also claim there's some Dolby Atmos going on in here. I'll test the sound. That's what I do. USB Type-C connector on the bottom, uh, capable of fast charge. That's a must. You have the speaker unit also in that location right there. Over on this side of the device, gets a bit fancy. Actually, there's a few buttons here. This is the interesting one. It is a side-mounted fingerprint scanner, so nothing in display. It's going to be your more typical touch-based scanner. You would be used to seeing this on the rear of the device on, on other smartphones. A few of them have tried it on the side. Sony's doing the same. We'll see how that operates, see how that works in a moment. Volume rocker above that. Power switch below there. Kind of weird that they're not both integrated into one, but I'm sure there's a good reason for it. And then another switch down here on the bottom. What is that? Is that a dedicated camera switch? That would be a nice location for it. I'm not sure. We're going to have to wait a moment to find out on that one as well. Look at that. You remove the SIM card slash micro SD expansion tray without a tool. What a bonus that is. All right, before I boot up the device, let's take a look at the rest of the contents of the package. We have a little bit of paperwork, a headset with interchangeable ear tips, a microphone. Here is your power brick. What is this baby capable of? 18 watts of quick charge power that should be sufficient for most individuals Ooh, okay a little vibration it's so slim it's so comfy it's the ergonomics of a small size phone with the screen of a big size phone this feels like a pixel 3 that just keeps going the screen looks incredible it's way more pixels than my eyes could ever possibly discern will can we get the pixel density on this 643 ppi according to will do all right here we go we're gonna test the fingerprint it's on the side it's kind of a weird it's a different location so How's it gonna do? How's it gonna fare? So fingerprint unlock on the side is definitely not the fastest. It feels a bit faster when you first press the power switch. If you don't press the power switch, it takes a second. I don't mind having it on the side. I just wish it was a bit snappier. Maybe I can turn off that. Go into the settings. I mean, it's so, it's very stock-ish. They didn't get out of hand. They didn't get wild. They're like, all right, Android, it's pretty good. We don't want to do too much. So it's, it's almost Pixel-esque. They, they just didn't mess with it that much. I mean, I see a couple things that seem extra. Cinema Pro, wow. It is an advanced 21 by 9 video capture, which is a, one of the most ridiculous things I've ever seen on a smartphone. I mean, it's got a real pro vibe to it. Audio levels, you have HDR options, codec you're shooting in, H.265, battery level. It's a focal length, ISO, shutter speed, white balance daylight selection, manual focus. I mean, it's not unwanted.